Hey, welcome back to Commercial Finance Experts Academy. My name is Su Chung. Today, I want to talk to you about my fee. Yes, I charge a fee. And you know what? I get away with it. I'm happy with it. My client's very happy with it. Let, let, let me talk to you a little bit about that. When I started in residential financing, uh, I was told, so you can't charge any fees. Uh, you can't do this, you can't do that. Uh, if the lender pays us, we can't charge you, we can't allow you to charge a fee. Uh, even in some cases where uh, I learned that the hard way at the beginning of my first year, yeah, a little bit over one year at, uh, as a residential mortgage broker, uh, that whenever I sent in uh, a fee agreement and the lender knows about it because of, uh, and it's, it's in the disclosure forms and anything that they requested, they, they want half of my fee. And I go, geez, <laughs> I'm the one who has to work hard to get the fee. Why do they want half of my fee now, right? And at the beginning, they said, yeah, we can't, we can't allow you to charge any fees. But once I start charging fees and the clients are great, okay with it, they want half of it too. What gives, right? Anyway, besides the point. So let, 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 me, let me ask you a question. Why do you feel that you don't deserve an extra fee? if you put more work into this file than any other file that you've worked on. If you ask the client, explain your client, then you put an enormous amount of time on working with this file to get approved, uh, you know, do you mind paying me a little bit extra for my fee? Uh, yes, the lender pays me some, but apparently you know, I've worked on this file, which I could have worked on two, three other files, which pays about the same or more, right? Is it green? You can call it whatever you want. I call it a fair value of my time, right? What do I value my time is different than what you value your time, right? I look at every deal differently. I look at a hundred thousand dollar deal and I said my minimum pay is two thousand five hundred. I thought I thought the client, the lender will pay me about eight hundred dollars. Are you okay with paying me seventeen hundred dollars if I can get the loan approved for you? Or if not, if you're not comfortable, with, you know with paying me the fee, I'm more than happy to introduce you to another mortgage broker that won't charge you the fee or refer you to a bank directly and you can deal with them. Or I'll be your person that handles everything. Make sure everything's handled, make sure everything's comfortable, make sure everything's all cool and no stress for you. Is it worth that extra $1,700 to pay me? I have no issues with that and my clients have no issue with paying me. So I'm hope, happy with that. So is my wife and my daughters. They're happy with that too. Right? It's all about the value you give and how do you see the service that you give to your clients. Is it worth that extra fee you're asking for? Right? At the end of the day, the client gets what they want, you get what you want. You're happy because you get extra fee, you're happy because you get at least the minimum pay that you feel you're worth. And the client is extremely happy, get that what they want, stress-free, and they're very happy about it, and you're happy that they're seeing your value, that they're giving extra money in consideration for that, right? And, in the, and over the years, I've always got more and more past referrals that they don't mind. They tell their friends that you may get a fee involved, may not have a fee, it depends on your scenario, maybe different than theirs, right? Go back to commercial files that I did recently. I had a commercial file referred by another developer to his brother who's a new, well not a new developer, getting into the commercial space. He's done hundreds of houses, over 300 houses. Uh, his brother got into the commercial space where I got the financing done for them. I charged him my 2% fee and his younger brother now, who's getting into commercial as well, doing a low rise and I charged my 2% fee. <laughs> I wish I had recorded this because the information that I've given up to the client, I've, I've, I've literally taught them, like given them a blueprint how to get what they want to, to do so that it can be done. Uh, I've introduced them to all the key players involved in the process. Everything from the architect, different architects I've suggested to them to contact, uh, the quantity surveyors, the estimate of the, the cost of construction, all that. I've even introduced it to them. Uh, environmental people, uh, engineers, uh, engineer company to help them with, uh, with the general contracting itself because they don't have the history of doing a low-rise project. They've only done single-family 
homes, right? Even though they've done hundreds of them, you know, three story. Now the argument is, I'm building a four story. Why can't you get the financing? I'm going to go, well, why didn't when you come to me? Why, why couldn't you get the financing straight from your own, your own existing bank? Well, this is why no, I don't know what to do. Well, that's exactly it. <laughs> I know what to do. So pay me. Of course, I didn't say it that way. But why are you coming to me? There's a why. My, my brother feels that you are, uh, you know your stuff, you're confident, you're competent, and you can get things done from them. You've done things for them that their banks can't even do for them. And you're able to get them the financing. This summer, they're finishing this four, four level low rise, and there's gonna be uh, 14 units in there. That's the first project. And I was able to finance that when most of the light bank lenders have turned them down. You know what she said? You're right. You're worth every penny, Sue. You're worth every penny. And she almost burned it out. And I said, and? And more. <laughs> I said, well, and I'm glad I'm not asking for more. Uh, I'm very happy with my 2% fee. Uh, the project's gonna cost $5.6 million. And I told her, you know what, you'll be paying me close to 120 grand. She said, like, you know, so what? When you get this done for us, you earned it. I said, damn right, I earned it. All right? When's the last time your bank guy can help you get all these pieces together? It's like a jigsaw puzzle, especially when they're new, new at this game. Even if they're not new at this game, you know, I've saved developers where, in, in certain circumstances where the credit unions they dealt with in the past, that got an approval, an approval for a construction project a year ago, but now that the credit union is running out of money, they couldn't commit, uh, they couldn't even get it funded, what they committed to and what they promised, they couldn't get the fundings to complete the project. And, and that is going to be an issue in the future for anybody, uh, it doesn't matter what the experience level is, right? whether you're more experienced or less experienced, it doesn't matter. We out of money, you project can't, can't continue off of the ground, right? You start digging, you need the money to keep flowing. They have to get out to the straight to the lockup stage before the credit union can come in. But before they even get to that stage, the credit union tells them that they're running out of money and they won't be able to get this job done. Right? And you know, whatever the blame was, you know, your, your project took too long to get the city approval, blah blah blah. So those situations comes in, they're not worried about the fees, right? What they're worried about is it's going to cost them a lot more than $120 if they can't get the project completed. They've wasted a lot of time and money. The flip side is this. Once it's completed, it's all built. All right? Guess what they can do? They can refinance and pull all the equity out or sell it and make a killing. That $120,000 is probably going to be less than the real estate fee that they can pay. Think about that. All right? If they can consider the real estate fee as a cost of doing business, What's your 2% fee? That's my 2% fee. It's worth a lot more than that, right? To them, it's just an expense on the expense line. They add that into their more profit margin. That's all they have to do, right? So when you're doing the right people, that sees your value. Don't worry about the fee. You're confident about it. You ask for the fee, they'll pay, right? Worst case, I know some of my students <laughs> I'm gonna negotiate back down to one percent. Wow, you still get hundred bips. That's not too bad, right? If you get new at it, and once you get confident, when your your confidence level gets built up, you ask for the two percent fee, and it'd be no challenge to you whatsoever. I guarantee you that. All right. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Just find your value, have confidence, and ask for the fee and back it up with results and they'll pay, okay? So if you like this video, just click like on the bottom and comment if you have any questions or you want to see some other future videos that you want me to talk about different topics, feel free to contact me by the comment section because I check it and uh, or email me straight, sue at sharingbanksecrets.com. If you'd like to come attend one of my workshops in the future, check out commercialfinancingmastery.com. And if you just want to dabble in and check out the uh, commercial financing course itself, there's an introductory course that we've created under comfee.org, C-O-M-F-E-A.org. Take care. See you next time. Have an awesome day.